Hello everybody. Sorry it's been a while. I've been shooting slide film. If you've followed my work in the past, you know I have a bad tendency to let the chemicals uh, go bad from sitting. So I've been shooting a bunch so I could process them all at once. And I finally started working my way through the rolls. Our next camera is the Olympus Trip MD. It's from about 1987 circa late 80s anyway. Um, it was one of the kind of second generation of trip cameras that really have nothing to do with the original uh, Olympus trip that people love so much. Um, kind of like the Junior that I re reviewed a while back. Has a 35 millimeter f4 lens. Uh, I found a site in German it says it's three elements in three groups. It's fixed focus from one meter to infinity. And one thing the manual recommends is the cover switch. If you hold that down, you can see it suck the lens in just a little bit. So if you're uh, shooting something that's really far away, they want you to to hold this little switch down while you take the shot. It has a single speed mechanical shutter, 1 125th of a second. So, and the, uh, the shutter is mechanical, so it'll work with no batteries. But because this is the MD, the motor drive, you would have a working shutter and no film transport. So that doesn't really help. ISO is settable using this lever here from 100 to 1,000. Uh, it has 100, 200, 400, and 1,000. The aperture is what changes with various combinations of the film speed and whether you have the flash uh, popped up or not. So in that respect, it's a lot like the Konica Tomato. By monkeying uh, with the flash setting, and the uh, film speed, you can select a few apertures. You only get F4 when you're set to ISO 100 and have the flash popped up. Everything else is smaller than that. And it has this kind of funky diamond-shaped aperture. There's a different uh, entry over on the blog where I ran through all of the settings and measured the area of the aperture and I got a you know created a table of f stops from f4 to probably about f22. I wasn't super precise. I was taking pictures of this and then uh, you know measuring the area and corresponding that with 35 millimeters to come up with the f stops. Um, it does pretty well approximate a little tiny oval uh, when you're set to ISO 1000. It is motor wind and you snap the pictures uh, until the film frame counter is at 1. You do that manually. It has automatic rewind at the end of the roll and it does have this little tiny switch here, if for whatever reason you want to do mid-roll rewind. Honestly, maybe if the film jammed, something like that. Uh, the built-in flash is not bad for a little point and shoot. It's uh, guide number 10 meters at ISO 100. The manual uh, says it's good for about 1 to 4 meters. And also similar to the uh, Trip Junior, the CDS cell here beside the lens, really all that does, whoops, I meant to do a half press, is give you this red LED at the top of the viewfinder. It's a, it's not a slow shutter warning because the shutter's fixed. Um, it runs on two AA batteries. That's always nice. You can find these suckers just about anywhere in the world. And it has a tripod socket. It's, I believe it's metal lined. I can't really tell. I think it's metal. I only used it a couple of times and it seems fairly durable. 
There are no marks in the viewfinder at all. You can only get to a meter close focus, so there's not a lot of problem with uh, with parallax error. And there is a cable release socket in the shutter switch. They say that's good for a cable release or self timer, but it would be one of those clockwork jobbers that fits into the cable release. Um, for being as simple as it is, it actually takes decent pictures, so it is not too bad. It's kind of fun to shoot with. I was shooting slide film with it, so with the fixed shutter and essentially a fixed aperture, I didn't do the measurements until after I'd shot with it. Um, it really could have used the exposure latitude of color print film, but I got some really nice images with it, and I kind of like it. I don't know if I'm going to hang on to it, but it is fun to shoot with. I've seen some stuff online. There's not a lot online. People use it for street photography because you just whip it out and you know you can monkey with your film settings and just take the picture. What you get is what you get. At any rate, I'll uh, get that next roll of slide film scanned and I'll be popping out a few videos in rapid succession. I will see you then.